<laughs> Hello and welcome back guys. So today I'll be doing a review on the Soviet GP7 gas mask. So uh, yeah. The Soviet GP7 gas mask was a uh, civilian issued gas mask um, in the late Cold War. So around the 80s. And uh, this mask apparently it was made in... 92 so at that point the Soviet Union was uh, collapsing and um, the quality is not that good on this mask so when I bought this on eBay it was uh, listed for um, about 30 USD I think and it had like a hose a filter and um, a drinking tube and this variant is called a GP7V with the drinking tube and uh, so the filter I bought it with, it was actually a GP5 filter and I didn't know, so I got scammed. It was not a GP7 filter, which has, which is slightly taller and has ridges on it. And um, yeah, so the hose, I don't have it with me right now because the GP7 isn't supposed to be used with the hose. So uh, yeah, the GP7, here's the mask itself pretty creepy looking, it has two circular lenses, a voice diaphragm, filter intake, it's 40 millimeter gauss, and a outtake. So um, oh yeah, the mask also has rubber straps, a five strap head harness, and these straps are really bad, they're a nightmare to adjust, and um, you can't take these off. It's really hard to put this mask on and off because it just grabs onto your hair and it just pulls it and it hurts a lot. So here's the bottle. Like I said, this is a GP7V, so it has the drinking tube. The drinking tube is right here. So here's the bottle. You're supposed to fill it up with uh, drinking water. And uh, what you would do is you would pull this out which is sort of a straw Whoops. and uh, you would open this up and you would put this in and just uh, you'd release the whole thing and then like put it over your head and try sucking the tube on the inside and oh yeah I forgot to mention the inside so here's the inside of the mask the lenses it's kind of hard to see it also has this um, weird hood thing. I don't know why it has it. Kind of weird. And um, there's also, I don't know if you can see, a drinking tube, the voice diaphragm, and the XL on the bottom. So this mask doesn't have a oral nasal cup, so it fogs up very quickly. And what I did is I put some soap, I rubbed it on the lenses, and it's slightly better now. So, um... Anti-fog inserts. I didn't um, I didn't bother to put them on. I put on one, but I have to had to like remove it because it was all yellow and it made the vision even worse. So yeah, and uh, here's the filter. It's just your regular GP5 filter. I don't know if you can see, but I think there is charcoal leaking. This filter itself was made in um, 76, so an ancient filter and uh, I think it's not working of course it's not working it's ancient and uh, not about the bag the bag is just your regular GP7 bag it's not too standing out or anything like that and uh, yeah I'm gonna wear the mask and uh, uh, see if it works and has an airtight seal now I'm going to show you how to put this on. The rubber's already trying to pull my hair off. So uh, it's a nightmare to put on. These are really tight. Can't get them. Oh my god. So yeah, you simply pull it over your head and uh, you're good. You have to pre-adjust the straps too. They're a nightmare to adjust. And, uh, yeah. Very tight seal. 
think everything is working normally. So, um, the rover hood, it's not affecting me a lot. It doesn't affect my vision or anything. Yeah, so now I'm gonna put on the filter. I won't remove the cap because um, I'm not gonna breathe through it. It has some charcoal leaking through because there's some dots on it, and I think that's charcoal. So, I'm gonna put this on. It's hard to put on. So now I have it on. The mask is leaning this way. And uh, here's the hose. You can wear it with the hose. You can like sort of just put it on the side, which is weird, but I don't know why you need a hose. So yeah, the hose is really weird, and the mask is leaning this way. And, um, I put soap, I rub soap on the lenses, and they do seem to fog up a bit, but it doesn't annoy me that much. I'm gonna try to take this mask off. So, I now have the mask off. It was a nightmare getting it off. I had to cut the video because I was pulling my hair out and I couldn't get it off. So, uh, now I finally have it off, and, um... Uh, the mask was fogging up when I wore it. It has no um, tisset tube or, or nasal cup. So, um, it just fogs up. Uh, I rub some soap on it and it doesn't help too much, but it's alright. And um, when I wear the mask, all the rubber is kind of flimsy. As you can see, it's all flimsy and stuff. Quality control on this mask is really bad since it was made in 92 and when I put the filter on it was just leaning to one side, the left side. And um, I've also realized one thing, so um, when I was cleaning the mask yesterday I forgot to take uh, the piece of paper out and it was just blocking the outtake so I might have been suffocating in the mask, I don't know. And now I took it out. So, uh, this mask itself is just really bad. Because the Soviets tried to make this mask. They tried to make a mask after the GP6. And they were like, oh my god, let's make something really complicated. Add all the features. And well, they just came up with something like this. And it's just horrid. When they made it simple, they made it really good. Such as the GP5, the GP6... Uh, and those gas masks, like the hood ones, early ones, and these ones, the late Soviet ones, they're just horrid because they tried to implant, implant all the features of the western gas masks on this mask and it failed because they didn't know how to make one. And uh, yeah, I think this will be the end of the review. Thanks for watching and goodbye.